Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. <laughs> in this video, we'll demonstrate the analytic function exclude clause introduced in Oracle Database 21C. We create a test table called T1. It has columns called ID and value. We populate the table with some data. We display the data in the test table. We have one row with the value 1, one with the value 2, two with the value 3, one with the value 4, two with the value 6, two with the value 7, and one with the value 8. Notice there are no rows with the value 5. In this example, we have a window defined as order by value. We reference that window in an average analytic function. We use rows between one preceding and one following, but we exclude the current row. The first row has no preceding row, the last row has no following row. For all other rows, we are calculating the average value from the preceding row and the following row. This example is similar to the previous example, but this time we exclude the current group. Once again, the average is based on the values of the preceding row and the following row, but when there are ties with the value for the current row, preceding or following rows can be excluded. This gives us an unusual pattern. In this example, we have a window defined as order by value. We reference that window in an average analytic function. We use range between unbounded preceding and current row. This time we exclude ties. We're creating a rolling average from the start of the result set to the current row. We're including the current row, but we're excluding any rows that have tied values with the current row. This example is similar to the previous example, but we use exclude no others. This is the same as not using an exclude clause. As a result, we get a rolling average where tied rows are included, even if they follow the current row. The addition of the exclude clause gives us some extra flexibility when defining a window. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.